Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to set up your clean water store model 7500 Rev 2.5 valve. We're going to take the standard valve and convert it to an air valve. Um, the first thing we're going to do, this is where you're, we're going to swap out the injector. This is where your injector lives. We're going to remove the brine port connection. And we're going to remove the drain line flow control just to kind of get it out of the way. Drain line. First thing we're going to do is remove these two screws. Now you're going to want to be careful because this unit, the whole unit here comes off and there's some small O-rings behind it. So at this point make sure nothing falls out. So you're going to carefully remove this. Here are the three O-rings in here that you see. They made up on these three bosses. We're going to go ahead and remove this outer uh, cover. And there's an O-ring behind that as well. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove this plug, the injector plug. This is just basically change there's different colors to show you which injectors are installed. We're installing a green injector, so we're going to install the green plug. And there again, there's an O-ring in there, so that just gets snugged up. Okay, now we're going to remove the injector nozzle. That's what that little guy looks like. Then we're going to take a smaller screwdriver and we're going to remove the injector throat. And as you can see, this valve came uh, from the factory with the yellow injectors. So we're going to swap them out for the green injectors. You've got to be very careful with this injector throat. It's very thin here, so you want to really be careful when you're uh, screw, uh, screwing this in. You don't want to over tighten it and break it, because you will. So what I like to do is actually just use the screwdriver just like this. Just snug it. You can feel it stop. So don't over tighten it. Now we're going to install the injector, the nozzle. There again, this is a large screwdriver because it's a big surface, but you don't need to over tighten it. Just snug it in there. These are plastic parts. Just snug that up a little bit. Okay. We're going to reinstall the cover now. So you want to put the O-ring on like this. Make sure there's still a little bit of lubricant on it. It still feels pretty good. Now this will only go on one way. It doesn't line up both ways. So you got to make sure it lines up good. I always snap this guy into place first. Make sure it fits nice. Now you want to be careful when you reinstall this that you center these three bosses up on this. Kind of snap it in. You can feel it snap in its seats. Then go ahead and reinstall your screws. Okay, now we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain line. This is your drain line flow control here. It will come to you uh, depending on your size and the media in your tank. So you don't need to worry about that. Just reinstall it. <clears throat> now we ship the air valves out with this retainer clip in them, but we don't have the, uh, the uh, brine line in, uh, assembly in here just because it sticks out too far. For the air valve, this is actually where your air check valve goes. So the first thing we'll do is remove this little flow controller out of here. We want nothing in this part. This is just a compression nut that goes over the end and then your check valve will go down into here. And again I use a little wrench and just hand tighten this. So this this pops in like this and the retaining clip goes in to hold it into place. So that's your air injection check valve. That's where the air will go in. Like I said, when we ship them, they come like this. So to install it, you would just install it like that. Put your clip in, you're good to go. 
Okay, now we'll go ahead and show you how to program it. So to go into the master programming, you plug it in and immediately hit the first, second, and third button. One, two, three. Then you'll see this display. So you can set your time and your date. So what we're going to do is go down here where it says set regen mode. Hit the first button and that's going to go to uh, A06 by days. Hit the first button again, it'll bring you back. Then we're going to go up to regen cycles. We're going to scroll down and we're going to set this at number four. So regen cycles is number four. Regen mode is number six. You need to set the regen mode to six first. If you don't, the uh, regen, the other one won't show the, the number four where you want to go. It'll only go down to three. So you got to set the regen mode first. Then go back and set the regen cycles. Okay, we're going to go down and set the service days to four. This is for a Proox filter. If it was a sulfur air, it would be three days. Then you can set your regen time, what time you want, to, want it to go off in the morning, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Backwash time, you set at 10 minutes. Fast rinse time would be set at 8 minutes. Air draw time, air draw time is set for 10 minutes. And then the signal output, set service alarm, those are just options that we don't use. Now you want to go ahead and hit the second button with the finger and the arrow pointed to the left. Now you're showing in service. You have four days remaining. It's showing that the regen time is at 2 a.m. So your valve is now set up to use as an air valve. That's all for today. Thanks.